Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another story time video. Oh, this feels so good to be in front of the camera. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you guys didn't know, again, if you're new or if you were just out of the loop, I was in Mexico for two weeks and I recently got back. I actually just got back on Friday and I had a blast. I went to see my mom and my sister, my stepdad and a whole bunch of my family that lives in Mexico and I had so much fun. Like I ate like nobody's business. It, it may not seem that I was gone just because I did have videos that would be going up. I did a lot of pre-filming and it was very tiring. But it was nice to get a break and just sit back and relax and spend time with my family. So the reason why I wanted to share this story time with you guys is because being in Mexico brought me back a lot of memories and it reminded me of a dream that I had. I told you guys in my previous um, story time video if you guys wanted me to share some of the dreams that I've had because I feel like I have really crazy intense dreams and sometimes they freak me out, I'm not gonna lie. So I wanted to share this one because it's very close to my heart and it holds a very special place. If you guys want to hear about my dream then just keep on watching so like I said this dream happened about three or four years ago and like I said to this day it's just very it's there in my head I still have it very present um, so long story short I know that I don't share a lot of my personal life with you guys and the reason why is because there's only so much that I want to share with the world because people can be very mean so I try to keep my life as private as possible I mean YouTube is not about showing my life it's about showing makeup and talking about makeup so with that said um, I guess in this way you'll know a little bit more about me um, I have uh, two sisters my older sister my oldest sister her name is Soraida we call her Sori and then um, we had an older brother, his name was Isaac, Isaac, and unfortunately he passed away a long time ago. It was over 20 years, I believe. The dream that I had was with my dad. Now, my dad as well, unfortunately, passed away about a month, not even a month after my brother passed away. My brother passed away in December of 90... 92 I believe if I'm correct he he passed away in December of 92 that is the reason why I have this tattoo um, it says Amor Eterno which is a song by Rocio Durcal if you guys are Spanish if you guys speak Spanish listen to the song it's beautiful so that's the reason why I got this tattoo in memory of my brother so anyway like I said so my dad did pass away um, a little bit after my brother passed away and it was about two weeks and that's why I have this tattoo you guys don't really see it because it's kind of hard to spot since I have it right here but this is daddy's little princess and it has my dad's name which is or was Martin it has his date of birth and then the date when he passed away so I remember that I it was just by it was just me it was just I was by myself I, I believe I was 21 at that time or I had just turned 21 and I remember this really large big room it was a huge room it had like white walls like cement walls that had been painted white and there was a lot of people there was tons and tons of people and it almost looked like a homeless shelter in a way they were giving out food and there was just a bunch of people so for some reason I find myself in this room as I'm walking in I see from afar this very tall man now keep in mind again I don't know my dad and I just seen him by pictures and um, as I'm walking in I see this very tall dark man my dad was very 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 dark skin is that a you know really morenito so he was really dark skin he was a lot darker than my skin complexion very dark very tall curly hair which is where I get my curly hair um, so I remember I saw him from afar and he was wearing a long sleeve um, like a button-up shirt and it was white with blue stripes going down and I remember her, his hair was curly it was like afro curly and I think my mom said that he used to wear his hair, his hair like that and I went up to him and I was like oh my god dad like what the heck so in my dream 
he wasn't dead he had just been lost so we sit down on the floor and we're just talking and I'm like you know this conversation was happening in Spanish and um, I asked him I'm like where have you been like where have you been all my life I'm almost 21 and he just kept telling me he's like I'm sorry that I've been gone for so long it's just I had to leave because I'm a bad man and I just couldn't be around you guys and I just I couldn't understand why he had left now I kept asking him you know like but where have you been and he wouldn't tell me in my dream where he had been he just said I just I had to leave I had to leave you guys and then um, I remember that I kept asking him you know like well you know like can you come back in my life like I love you I miss you and I just want you to be part of my life and he kept telling me, he's like, no, no, I can't. I just, I really can't stay. It's just, I don't deserve you guys. You guys are amazing. And this is talking about me and my older sister. In my dream, like, my brother didn't exist. So then he just kept saying, you know, like, I just, I don't deserve you guys and this and that. So I was like, I, and, and I kept telling him, I don't care. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you've done. I just, I want you to be part of my life. You know, you're my dad and I love you. And he kept, we just kept talking. The conversation kept on going. I don't remember word by word what we said. But then he started asking me about like my mom and my sister. And he's always called my mom gorda. So he's like, ¿Y la gorda cómo está? Like asking how my mom is. And I said, she's, she's good. She's, she's doing good and he asked me if she got married and my mom got married a while ago to now my stepdad and I said yeah she's she's married now and then he asked me do you get along with your stepdad like do you like him and when I was younger when I was a teenager me and my stepdad we just did not get along it we just we didn't get along at all um keep in mind I was a teenager I was you know going through this like rebellious stage and it just me and him have never really clicked and it was funny because he asked me that and I'm like uh we don't you know we just we don't get along and he would just nod his head like okay and he asked me about my sister and he said y sorry como esta and that's again her name and asking how she is and I said she's doing good she's she's been working at this place at this time my sister had been working at a shop for quite some years and I said she's been doing good she's been working at the same place for a couple of years and she really likes it now there's a kind of a creepy part in here I remember that he told me he said yo las quiero mucho ustedes son mis reinas yo las amo and in my dream he called me and my sister sus reinas which when I told my mom about the dream that I had with my dad um she's like you know what that is so weird because your dad used to call you mis reinas he would always say yes on mis reinas and my mom had never told me that so that was kind of a creepy weird cool experience you know so he just kept telling me you know yo las quiero mucho I love you guys you guys are my queens son mis reinas and he said but I have to go and I said like where where are you going like can I go with you and he would just tell me he's like he's like I can't I have to go I just I can't stay and I told him I'm like I just I want you to be in my life I just want you to stay and he just he kept pushing me away and I didn't understand why and I just I didn't understand why he had to leave and so when we stood up he he gave me a hug and he just hugged me I felt like that hug was kind of like a goodbye you know just because I feel like he never got to say goodbye to me I personally never was able to just say bye to him when he passed away and I remember when we stood up he gave me a hug and he gave me a kiss on the forehead and I just I just stood there and I saw him walking away and as he was walking away he, I just saw him getting lost you know in between the people and I didn't, I didn't see him anymore and I don't know I, I feel like now that I'm a mother I feel like that dream has a lot more meaning to me because I don't know I, I can't imagine the pain that my dad went through when my brother passed away I, I can't imagine what he was feeling and I can't even know or begin to 
feel what he felt losing his first son because he was my brother was the firstborn and that was his only son it was my brother Isaac my sister and then me so it was like the baby of the family so I don't know that that dream has always really stuck with me and I've tried to research about it like I said I'm not a big believer in dreams that dreams have a meaning but that dream for me I feel like it had a meaning and I remember that I've searched a lot about it and a lot of people or a lot of articles say that it could be a way of you being at peace with that person so i hope you guys enjoyed this video again i'm sorry for getting emotional it's just i knew it was gonna happen i try to hold back the tears but it's very very hard let me know if you guys have had any dreams like these or what you guys think maybe this dream means i know that some of you are into that kind of stuff and i would love to hear your opinions so leave me a comment down below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye